I originally started as a recording engineer in Los Angeles, uh, or actually I went to Berklee College of Music in Boston, uh, studied music production and engineering there, um, moved to Los Angeles in the late 80s and became a producer recording engineer. Started working for a lot of uh, the hair bands, I don't know if you remember a band called Warrant and Motley Crue and Vince Neil. Uh, worked for them in the studio. Warrant was actually one of the first bands that ever asked me to mix them live. I kind of fell in love with the whole um, uh, instant gratification of, uh, you know, 20,000 people screaming for something that you're a part of, you know, um, and as a mixer you have this real connection with the band and, and also being out here amongst the people there's uh, you know, there's there's times where the hair stands up on your arms, you know, because it's just this this feeling of emotion. So I, I fell in love with that and decided that the studio wasn't for me because I loved this kind of live situation. So ended up working with uh, you know various bands, uh, Kiss and some bigger rock acts, and ended up with Lincoln Park because I was mixing uh, Limp Biscuit, uh, and Limp Biscuit and Lincoln Park were touring together. Uh, the management and the band of Lincoln Park heard my mix for Limp Biscuit and liked it. Uh, and when they decided they needed a new front of house guy, they remembered my name. I started using it in 2007, and Lincoln Park was the first band that I started using it with. This is my console. I purchased this console in 2007 uh, for the purpose of working with this band. Every band member is very versed in Pro Tools uh, and they make all of their records, they make all of their projects, all of their things uh, using Pro Tools and are very familiar with plugins and, and how DigiDesign and Avid, how their routing works and all of those kind of things. So I wanted the band to feel comfortable uh, when coming to front of house and looking at a plugin or, or looking at routing it's something that they understand. Um, and so we, it put us all on the same page. For instance, uh, Mike Shinoda would say, oh, I remember we used uh, the Waves uh, Metaflanger for that sound. Um, why don't you call the recording engineer or the producer and ask them to send you the preset, uh, and then we'll, we'll have a, a good starting point you know, to work from there. They release every single show that they do to the web. Mm -hmm. And so what I spend during the day is uh, mixing previous shows. Mm -hmm. And I'm using Pro Tools 9 and a MacBook Pro laptop in a dressing room mixing the show. Um, sometimes uh, the band Mike Shinoda will come in or, or Brad uh, will come in and want to hear what I'm doing. Um, and literally, I. I, I do not stand in front of the Pro Tools uh, box while they come in. I get up out of my chair and get out of the way because they are infinitely faster on it than I am. And so um, I let him do his thing and he actually shows me some things. Oh, this is how we did it on the record. Or he'll show me a, a fast fast key on Pro Tools that I didn't know before. Oh yeah, look at this. You know, and, and I, nice. I learned stuff that way, but um, you know, I hope I teach them some things too, mm -hmm. you know, who knows. <laughs>